Today, we are making New England clam chowder. Let's do it. What's up? Welcome to Transcend the Table. My name is Pete Beck, and I am happy to have you in my kitchen on this first chilly fall weekend. No better time in my mind to kick off soup season. Got a hearty chowder today, one of my all-time favorites. Let's check out what you're gonna need to make this New England clam chowder. So let's just go over what we have to do to get this chowder rolling. There is a bunch of upfront prep, and once we get all of that taken care of, we head to the stove. We're gonna start by making a roux. We're gonna keep that on the lighter side because we wanna use that to thicken up this chowder. And then we're slowly gonna add everything until you are left with a thick, rich, awesome New England clam chowder. So let's roll. All right, now before we get started, I just wanna say canned clams are totally fine, if not better. I'm being a little bit of a hero here, but let's learn how to steam clams anyways. You're gonna have to give those a good scrubbing, a lot of sand, a lot of particles in there you wanna get rid of, do your best, because we're saving the clam juice after. Into a large pot they go with about two cups of water. Steam those for eight minutes until you start to see those shells opening up. We're gonna remove those and then we're gonna put those in a bowl. We're gonna shell those in a second. First, we're gonna go ahead and reserve that clam juice into a sieve and a cheesecloth. Give that a pour. You're gonna see those sandy looking particles. We really wanna get rid of those, so do your best. You wanna be chomping on those in your chowder. Now we're gonna shell 100 clams, and now I'm really regretting my decision not to go with canned, but oh well. We're learning a valuable lesson here today. Always good things to learn. Give those clams a chop into a bowl and moving on. Grab a sharp knife, turn on some music, and get lost in the prep. We're chopping some celery, we're mincing some garlic, give it a couple of wax, and then mince it nice and fine. Have a little bit of fun with it. Moving on, we are going to dice an onion. Make sure you keep it kind of consistent with how you dice the celery so it cooks at the same time. Moving on, we're gonna peel and dice potatoes. Very important that you dice these to a similar size so they cook consistently. Undercooked patoots will ruin this chowder. Last, we have our little herb joint, our bouquet garni, all ready to go, and the prep is done. All of our prep is done, so we can now fire up our roux and get that chowder going. So let's get to it. Over medium to high heat, we're gonna add our fat. I'm using half bacon fat, half butter. Once it's melted, we're gonna start to add our flour in about two to three batches, constantly whisking and keeping it smooth. We're gonna cook this roux a little bit past light so there's a little bit of hint of that brown. The lighter the roux is, the more thickening power it has and it loses that as you cook it and make it darker. We want this roux to make that chowder thick with two or three C's. Once it's at a color you like it, we're gonna add the onions and the celery. The vegetables are gonna cook very quickly. Once those are soft, add your garlic, cook it for about 20 to 30 seconds. Careful not to burn it. Now we're gonna add our clam juice and our chicken stock. To that, we are going to bring in the potatoes and then we're gonna bring this all to a boil and boil it for about 15 minutes until the potatoes are cooked. Make sure you check two or three of them. Give one a taste. We need those potatoes to be cooked properly otherwise this chowder is fucked next we're going to add our infused cream stir it our bacon and our clams we're going to spice things up with a little bit of hot sauce a little fresh lemon juice the acidity will lighten up the chowder a bit and then we're going to correct the seasoning add your salt add your pepper a couple of stirs let it sit for a bit give your lens a wipe it's been taking steam for a half hour find a bowl or a cup give it a scoop and go get it All right, this chowder is done and my fingers are burnt. Top it off with a little bit of fresh parsley and let's dig in. Feel that in my soul. Might have to shed a layer soon. Oh, 
so good. So there you have it. A beautiful, soul-filling New England clam chowder. Go ahead and give that a try this soup season. You're going to love it. And when you do, take a picture, tag us on Instagram at Transcend the Table. Stay tuned for more great stuff to come. Now, if you'll excuse me, my sink is popping with dirty ass dishes. A lot of soup, a lot of dishes, a lot of cleaning. So let me go take care of that. Thank you for joining. We'll catch you next time. Oh,